Great. Piece of crap. Dude, I can't see anything! Who's wasted? Ah! The horror games are all in my mouth. This one was recommended to me by Evelyn. Yes. My girlfriend. Yes, I have one. I have a girlfriend, guys. Yes, sue me. Sue me for having a girlfriend. Uh, it's called Abandoned Souls. She said it was very good. I trust her opinion on all things horror related. So let's give it a shot. Ah, I can flash banged. It is 2015. Tim, an urbex vlogger, per his viewer's request, sets out to explore an abandoned hospital in a forest in the middle of nowhere. Uh oh, YouTubers in forests is bad. <laughs> the web forum Tim frequented was crawling with story. This is what I get for trying to make jokes and relating to people instead of actually just reading quickly. They said... They said what? I didn't read the rest of the last sentence. I don't know what they said. Or may maybe there's more. They said what? It was no ordinary hospital. Ooh. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Abandoned souls! Alright, that scared me more than anything the game's probably gonna do. Whoa, I can't see anything. Is it supposed to be this dark? Ooh, it does look really good though. There we go, that's better. Wow! The style of this is really cool. There's a lot of these types of games lately that look extremely realistic. How is it that Indie horror games are able to accomplish this kind of stuff. Who knows? My lord, I walk as slow as a toddler with weights on its head. I need something to break these planks. What is that? Hello? Oh. Could I just go this way? Nope. Stuck. <laughs> I really am a toddler. Can't go anywhere without getting stuck on shit. How do I get in there? Can I get in there? Hello? I saw- I saw your lights on! Your fire lights at least. Uh, oh my god. Dude, they're tiny, tiny rocks. Just walk over them. For the love of god. Oh, I missed the thing. Is that a missing person poster? Hold on. Hold, hold on. <laughs> missing person. Looks like one of the missing people in this area. A great deal of information has been gleaned from this today. Also, what's an urbex vlogger? I don't know what that means. Urban Explorer? That seems like a good guess. I like that guess. How do I do anything? <laughs> I feel so dumb. I can't even get around rocks or get to any of the places I want to go. I don't know what I can walk through and what I can't. Help me! <laughs> I'm trapped in a prison of my own design. Can I go around? I'm coming, dude. Don't scare me too quick. Oh, there's more posters here. Are those wolves? Coyotes? I, I don't know what they are. I, I'm just gonna assume wolves and that's bad. Missing person. I'll find you, buddy. Don't you worry. God, this looks so good. Indie horror games are getting so, so really good lately. <laughs> They're getting so really greatly lately. Okay, there's lots of sounds going on, but I'm not going to be scared by nature. Unless you put a fox barking and screaming in the background. Because that shit sounds horrifying. Those whispers? What the fuck? Oh, 
what? What is there? Oh, dude, no vlog is worth this. Being a YouTuber is cool and all. Like, really super cool job to be able to do. But you know, you could just sit down and play video games or something. You don't need to be doing this kind of shit. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? Why is it so horrifying already? Damn, that looks cool. I thought this was abandoned souls, not noisy fucker run around and knock everything over souls. Happening. This is so creepy! Nothing's even happening! I haven't seen anything! Oh, some Chuck Teas. Who started this fire? What was that? I do. I don't care, like, how old you are, how grown up and mature you are, or anything like that. I don't believe in ghosts in real life, but if I was here and this shit started happening to me, I would be gone, leaving a brown trail behind me. Nothing would stop me from running at the speed of light back to my car. Can I crouch? Oh, I can. Maybe I can go after that gap where the fire is? Maybe I walk around. Oh, it feels like there's people everywhere following me! Oh, I thought that was a person and that was their legs. I hate this. It's giving me, like, really strong Blair Witch vibes. Oh, can't go out there. Like, this- this is what a Blair Witch game should be. I haven't played the Blair Witch game. But from what I've heard and seen, it really wasn't Blair Witchy. This is what a Blair Witch game would be good at. Like, this aesthetic... is so cool. I don't know how- Oh, come on, stupid flashlight. Dude, don't do this to me now! Great. Piece of crap. Dude, I can't see anything! Who's wasting it? Ah! Oh! You gigantic piece of shit! Oh my god! I'm too old for this! <laughs> Dude, take the hatchet! Go away! Listen to them. <laughs> you just- you heard screams in the distance, a fire came out of nowhere, some ghost man ran through you, your flashlight went out, and you're still like, hmm, what about my vlog though? Okay. Nice. Alarm. I need to get back to the car. Why? What's happening? Why is it all freaking out on me? Oh! That's my car alarm! Is what you meant. And those are my car's lights going off. Oh! I thought you meant you had like an alarm on your phone to be like, oh, time to take my meds. Did you take your meds today? I want to know how many people I just reminded. I forgot to take mine the other day and I, I took it out, put it in my pocket, and then went about my day, and then at the end of the day I pulled it out and I was like, 
Ah, shit. Damn, go. Look, it's fine to scare me. And freak me out and turn my flashlight off and put the fear of God in me. But trying to steal my car? I'm an Urbex vlogger. I need to get closer to the activated alarm. It's old. I wanted to install a new one before leaving, but I'm a lazy ass. Sick beat. Dude! What the hell is that a bloody axe sticking out of my car? Who could have done this? Damn. I think it got brighter. Is it an earlier time of day now? Do not enter. Yeah, it said go away, do not enter, but you... You can't tell me to not enter and go away when you destroy my car! That doesn't make any sense! Uh, Jesus is being summoned inside. Let's go in. Let's just pretend we can't read. I actually don't know what this game is doing. I don't know what this game is about. Ah! <laughs> what is that? <laughs> no one's home! Trying to tell me something, I hope he can't get in here. What if he was trying to tell you something? My flashlight still doesn't work. The guys didn't lie, this place gives me goosebumps. Need to find some records to learn more about this place. You got your footage! If you got this on camera for a vlog, that, that's all you need. You could milk this for a year if you're uploading it. This is legit. Ooh, this building reminds me, it looks just like it started raining outside. I got inside just in time. Yeah, that's the problem. That's why we should be inside. The rain. This uh, area reminds me so much of Outlast. I kind of miss Outlast. <laughs> I got an achievement for getting scared by a rat. I keep thinking I see things, but it's like smudges on my screen. Hi. <laughs> really wish my flashlight worked! How many people are missing? All of them. All the people are missing. Man, the aesthetic is awesome though. Oh, oh, is anybody else itchy? I'm itchy. <laughs> I'm itchy and I'm hot and I'm bothered. This is so cool. I really wish. Because I think this game's only like an hour. I'm already like, man, I wish this was a whole like six hour experience. Is that a bone saw? Bone saw is ready! I got you for three minutes! Three minutes of playtime! <laughs> How did he talk like that and not cough up blood constantly? It's like, um, you know that actor Michael Rucker? Who was Daryl Dixon's brother in... He's also Yondu. In, in Walking Dead and Ga Guardians. Yeah. You, you talking to me, boy? I'll put you in your place! I ain't afraid of ghosts! <coughs> See what I mean? I know that's just their natural voices, but I can't do that for very long without having to cough up my taint. Hey, there is somebody somewhere else to go though. <gasps> Someone's peeking around the corner! I just caught a glimpse of it at the last second! 
Hello? Ooh, lightning. I don't know why the flash outside, the first thing I thought was aliens instead of the very natural phenomena of lightning. Ugh. Mike, I cannot believe they are shutting us down. What about all the locals? Where are they going to turn on to for help now? How will they reach the town? It's miles and miles away. Strange. According to the papers, our sponsors have been very generous and invested much more than necessary into our hospital funding gap. Bullshit, Alex. It's really strange. They closed the hospital for hundreds of kilometers around. Why? The only hospital. Oh, that's so cozy. Something about the rain outside and being inside. So cozy. This is my favorite thing lately, is just be painting Warhammer figures and just being sitting inside as it's raining outside. I rewatched all of Lost again recently, now I'm going through Fringe. Interesting. Why, why am I getting achievements for existing? The guys on the forum were writing that people were disappearing in the villages near the hospital. It happened around the 80s. The note is dated 1985. The thunder? Huh? What? Dude, you're, see you're seeing and reacting to stuff that I'm not even seeing. What was the hall for? There's a lot of medication in here. Who are all these people? What's with all the equipment they are hauling away? I've never seen hardware like this and the body bags. I swear that these look like body bags with, well, corpses in them. But well, we are an ordinary hospital. We don't have, even have a morgue here. Where did the body bags come from? What's going on? Ooh, ghost paper. Oh, I have the same question. Dude, for someone who's, What the hell was that? I don't know. I didn't see it. What the fuck? For someone who's doing like an urbex vlog, are you just getting footage and then you're just going to do a voiceover afterwards? Because shouldn't you be like talking as you're doing this? Like more talking? Yeah, I'll go ahead and leave that closed. Oh, I think we need to be messing around with that one. So this is like an old hospital asylum kind of place. And I'm assuming these are the remnants of the people left over. No, I hate bathrooms and horror games. It's just ripe for... <laughs> Who the hell is that? It looks like you crawled into the ventilation. I, that you saw more than I did. Whoa! He was just chilling out. He was like, "Do you mind? Someone's pooping in here." Can I go in? No. Damn! He was sitting on the sink, taking a poop. That's either the, either the sound of someone in distress, or it's my bowels making an IBS movement. It could be anything. How's it possible? There's no electricity in here. The building has been abandoned for many years. Where is... Someone talked into my left ear. Where is the phone? Okay, it's in there. Go, go, go! I can't hear if something's trying to scare me now! Now it stops. What's up, Skeletor? Hello, bullshit hospital! Screw this, Rick! They're shutting us down after all I've done for them. What we've done? The project was doing good. We were so close to our goal, but one of the sponsors decided that there are too many casualties. 
After all these years and so many lives sacrificed, they decided to pull the plug so as not to alert the press. The locals suspect us already and they decide to close the hospital. Can't they see I'll set off more alarm bells? It'll set off more alarm bells. Today they will haul away all the equipment and, and all the subjects. Just like that in broad daylight, idiots. It's hard to read this text on the sheet and over there. It's like... It's appearances. Body bags? Equipment? Tr hotel? Travago. I have a bad feeling about this, Chewy. I wonder why? <laughs> why do you have a bad feeling about this? Is it something about the ominous red hallway? This is so Chase Brody core right now. It's cool though. Hello, are you crying? Are you in distress? Do you need help? Whoa. <laughs> That's so cool. She's freaking out. I'm coming. Oh, it's not in here. Are those like, I should really take the time to actually look at the rooms. It's like a baby room, but what are these like head mounted things? Maybe for electroshock? Uh oh, somebody spilled our abacus. Is that in here? Don't look up. Oh! <laughs> Crap. Dude, if you're gonna tell me not to look up, I'm gonna look up. That's the whole, like, don't think about pink elephants. What's the first thing you think of? Pink elephants. Okay, thanks for blocking me out of that. Yeah! This isn't an asylum, it's a rave! Let's go! <laughs> Dude, look at all these people with glow sticks! Oh. Someone give me hints? Is someone helping me? Dude, I'm getting achievements for nothing. I'm just walking around. The game's handing them out like cookies. Oh. Follow me. Lean on. Is this thing to follow the bear in the wheelchair? Where did... Where did... Where did he get here? I'm following you, Teddy! Just don't get me killed! Okay. Uh-huh. Teddy in a wheelchair next to a table. Is that where I answered the phone? Okay, the room looks familiar. Sure does, buckaroo. Wait, but I can't get in there. Usually following the sounds is a good thing. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Shut up! Oh, you're in here. I heard breathing. This is like trying to draw a map of a town by a child. Okay. Go past the clock to the doors. There's a bathroom sink with a key on it. 
It looks like the hallway I was in. The familiar clock on the wall. There should be a door somewhere near them. Are these the... No. Are you the clock on the wall? <laughs> you fucking weirdo! Get the key! Get the key! Get the key! There's only one place that could have sinks and a key! Oh god, that's- uh, Blinding myself with the key! Okay, what is that opening though? Maybe the door down here? <laughs> that guy, you see him like freaking out in the dark right before he ran at me? Oh, 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 just keep going, just keep going. Jesus Christ, that sounded like it was right inside my head. Oh, I'm tensing up so much and giving myself a headache. Okay, it just did it on its own. I didn't even need to click. What is this place? I don't fucking know. My flashlight broke. I can't see anything. Where am I? What is this place? <laughs> I don't know why I still even have noted or achievements turned on. I should turn those off. They're just so distracting. Are we... like, underground? Why? The fuck was that? Shut up! So many people! Men, women, children, and for what? Why have they done all this? It was clear from the start that this was bullshit. Dr. Borkov, what did he try to achieve? I think he just loves to hurt people, gets off on torture. I'm glad they are shutting down the project, but the blood on our hands, I don't think it'll ever come off. What did you do to people down here? Dude, you're getting the sickest vlog footage. Okay, this leads down, but I also want to check this. Ew. Ew. Someone's munching on some toes down here. Hello? The latest experiment was a success. Can't say the same about the previous cases, but this time the subject seems stable. Muscle mass increases steadily, however intellectual capability continually declines. It would appear the subjects experience total memory loss. They have no recollection of who they are and what happened to them. That's good for us, right? All of the subject have all of the subjects have gone completely bald? <laughs> I, I think you've been trying to say bald. Their voice cords have undergone irreversible changes and they have lost the ability to articulate words. They now emit weird noises akin to laughter or something else entirely. Another peculiar upgrade is the eyesight. The subjects can definitely see in near total darkness and their eyes seem to reflect light. Rather haunting, really. The subjects are getting more and more aggressive towards personnel. We still manage to keep them under control. So far, so good. Unfortunately, we still cannot determine what causes loss of signal between subject brain implants and our machines, but we are working on it. Let's continue the research. Oh, so you were doing some, like, crazy shit down here. Experiments? Terrible experiments on humans. What is that? Sounds like someone's crunching bones. Is this under the- uh, is there somebody on that? Oh. Oh man, is that a dead body? There's a note next to him. What is wrong with him? He looks like a lizard!
Uh, with platform, light, fuel can, generator. Fuel canister, generator, light. Is someone helping me? I heard somebody. Someone just went like... Uh. <laughs> That's so cool! Okay, oh, I thought these were steps. Hey, buddy! How's it going? Don't mind me. The previous batch died within a week from inserting the brain implants and injecting the serum. But this, this is something else. Their physical attributes are rapidly increasing. Their immune systems seems to be able to withstand exposure to all the viruses and bacteria we introduce. All of that a mere week after the introduction of the new serum. We're excited to have Dr. Borkov join, join the project. Everything has been going much faster and smoother now that he's with us. His vast expertise and innovative ideas led to a breakthrough with serum development, the best one yet. Sounds like Umbrella in Resident Evil. Oh, I got a tape. Oh, I guess I need power first. Now I need to find a generator. Maybe down here somewhere. Or maybe back in the other area. Yeah. Dude. This went places I did not expect. A booga booga! Where do I have a feeling he turned into something, like, grotesque? Because we don't see their body, but it sounds weird. I don't know if I should be going this way. Uh, he looks like a generator thing of sorts. Light generator, yeah. I saw ya! I saw ya! Can I do anything with this? Oh, uh, fill up the fuel. There should be a start button somewhere. This? Bingo! Bango! Django! Sounds like something huge has fallen. Olympus! Olympus has fallen! Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck is that? The implant issue is not fixed still. We cannot read their minds. We cannot give them orders. They keep silent. However, sometimes it feels like they are communicating with each other mentally. They exchange glances, give tiny little nods. They resemble a pack. As if they all share a mental link. At this point in time, we cannot confirm we reached original project goals. We still do not control the subject, so using them for military purposes is out of the question. However, we've definitely reached a breakthrough in a different field. It looks like we created a new species. Cool! What's your species called? <laughs> The invisible wheelchair people species. <laughs> you all wanna... I thought this was a game. <laughs> I think it's just samples of things. You all wanna play some backgammon or something? I don't really wanna get scared no more. Let's go back to that other room. That looks really cool now. Why are they so weird? I didn't think that was going to be anything because normally you hear the footsteps and the sounds and then nothing's there and then when there's something there it's so much worse. Whoa! Oh, the whole platform went down. The TV worked. I need to see if I can watch that tape. This whole platform collapse? Jeez.
Oh yeah, I read that one. 20th of December, 1985. Uh, oh. How do I... How do I watch you? There we go. I can't see it! Oh, there we go. Doctor's experimenting. That just looks like when I got my root canal. Am I supposed to be seeing something here? just generic shots of doctors. Is this a record of the experiments that took place here? Just like doctors looking at charts and test tubes and shit. They really experimented on people. They sure did, buddy. They sure did. It's terrible. Do I have to go down that ladder? There's no fucking way. There's no way I have to go down this, right? I'm gonna try! <laughs> little bud! <laughs> He's just a little guy! <laughs> oh god, you... Fucking vloggers. <laughs> Dude, this is way more down here than I expected. Why did that collapse though? My reasoning would be if something collapses like that, maybe don't go down into the place it collapsed. They are closing the project. One of the recent subjects escaped. The one from the latest test batch. It tore several lab assistants and a couple of security guards to pieces and vanished into the vents. We tried to stop it by initiating a lockdown, but it looks like it managed to escape before the vent dividers closed. Oh god, what have we done? We were supposed to create remote control super soldiers and we created an apex predator with human intelligence. Ferocious strength, unparalleled agility, and night vision. I hope they capture the subject soon, or else I don't want to think about it. Oh, well, super soldiers are less interesting than just freaky little men. Is that my breathing? In the game, I meant, not my actual real life breathing. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're so totally fine. Jeez, this goes deep. What was that? Dr. Borkov offered that everyone should leave the lab today, told us to leave everything behind, said the experiment had failed and we would never be able to control them. All project documentation will be destroyed. The subjects shall be put under and transported to a separate location. They are closing us down. The hospital on top of the lab as well. This is it. Also, oh, the lab is underground. Yeah. Months of work gone to waste. I don't know what's going to happen next. I guess they will burn the place down or extend the lockdown infinitely. Either way, our vital mission will be forgotten. Ah, uh, screw that. I just want to get out of here. We all do. As soon as possible. Sometimes when you listen closely, despite all the movement and shouting and noises, you can hear something knocking in the vents. Oh, these horrible noises give me the chills. Dude, pick up the Polaroid. Let's take some pictures of some weirdos. Is that a camera? Oh. Ooh, there was like three of them. Oh, there's way more.
Yeah, I don't know if following the teddy was a good idea. <laughs> Dude, it's so creepy! Oh, weird little nudie men! What the hell? I recognize the location from the video. I've been there. That plush teddy bear on the table. All right, fine. I've had enough. I need to get out of here. Yeah, maybe we should leave. There's a lot of cameras down here. What is that? There's a brain there! Is this a jaw? It looks like someone's bottom jaw. I don't think we're gonna get out of here. I think we're gonna die. I think we're gonna round a corner and there's gonna be 50 eyeballs in the dark. I thought the ones that had their eyes reflected were different than the little bald men walking around. I don't know why. I thought there was like an evolutionary form of them. Damn, sounds like the gener generator shut off. Great. Dude, if generators in real life worked as little as generators in games, they wouldn't exist. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. I'm getting out of here. I am not afraid. I'm a little afraid. Walking, walking, running, running, sprinting. <laughs> Why? Why is the bear here? What has the bear got to do with anything? Fuck out of here. Just leave. Just, just go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Oh, you're so dead, bro! <laughs> They're so weird! Thankfully you just did it and I don't have to. Okay. Oh my god, they were chasing me. I need to get out of here as soon as possible. You got it, amigo! Oh, we're here again. Why didn't I recognize that? Just run for the exit, Tim. Just for the exit. My name's Tim? But what if the exit's blocked off by something you could easily move but won't? Shit, shit, shit. Fuck it out. Yeah. Yeah. Accurate. Don't freaking stop. Oh, they're everywhere. They're in every room. Yeesh! Go, 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 go! Straight shot, straight shot! It was this way, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sure you'll get out without a single problem. Damn, you did! What about your car? I mean, it's not actually ruined. They didn't hit the engine. Whoa. After Tim released the video, the police decided to investigate the place. They dispatched a team who turned the place upside down. Plenty of documents, machinery, and clothes belonging to the people who had gone missing throughout the years but were uncovered. Nothing and no one else was found. State authorities expressed official gratitude to Tim. Many relatives and friends of those who have gone missing of those whose documents are discovered and the thing in him, albeit unintentionally shedding light on the loved ones. Ooh. Damn! Just Tom, cook. <laughs> Damn, that was good! I really liked that. That was super cool. Very, very freaky. It reminded me of, um... There's like a Grave Encounters feel to it as well. Or... Have any of you watched the movie Gun Jam? It's a Korean horror movie. I, it's one of my favorite horror movies ever. Um, if you can look it up. I don't know how to 
Gonjam. Just look for that, I guess. Look up Korean Asylum found footage movie. It's really, really good and reminds me a lot of this. Like, if you like what this showed, you would love that movie. But this was fantastic. Lots of, um... Like, the visuals in it were great. The sound design was fantastic. Really creeped me out. There's a lot of stuff that, in it that could be seen as, like... Like, the stuff we always see in horror games. Like, the generic kind of jump scares and stuff. But it was unique enough in its premise that I liked it. And sometimes that's all you need. Sometimes you need just, like, a little hour-long piece of content. And that's it. It doesn't need to be a whole lot more. And it, it feels so reminiscent of, like, Outlast, Penumbra... Like, so many other games I've played before, and I'm, I'm really sad that there's not more of this. Like, I would love a whole four to six hour experience like this. I think the visual style alone is really, really cool. And hopefully they do more with it. Hopefully they, they expand upon it or make something else in the same sort of vein, because I would love to see a bigger version of this. I don't know what you would do with the mechanics of it, because that's the thing with games like this, and Penumbra kind of has that problem sometimes as well that and PT was going to have the exact same problem people were sad that it didn't get turned into Silent Hills but it would it needs more to be fun to play for hours and that's like how do you add more to this other than just putting in like puzzles um because Penumbra has that where you can't fight anything you just sort of do puzzles and then run away from stuff and it works so I don't know. I would just love to see more of it. That was fantastic. Abandoned Souls. Go. Get it for yourselves. Play it for yourselves. Especially games like this. I keep saying it lately that games like this deserve attention. People who make these deserve to be able to do it full time and work on bigger projects and make bigger, better games and constantly keep evolving all the time. Um, and especially something that's so short. I feel like a lot of people abuse the refund system on Steam with this kind of stuff where they get it, they're able to play it, and then they just refund it, which I think is a really shitty thing to do. Unless the game is broken um, and just doesn't work or has NFTs or something in it, I don't know. But something like this that genuinely gives me excitement and makes me feel scared and gets me into a vibe and an atmosphere, I think absolutely deserves your money. Um, so go check it out for yourselves. That's gonna do it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching plenty of other horror games on my channel Go search them out watch them all um, I have some more that I've written down that I'm gonna play soon as well Kind of like in this vein of like a short little condensed horror game and I'm excited to get stuck into those But thank you so much for watching all the horror games lately. It's been very fun. And I'll see you in the next one